Okay, this looks very scary to me, but what do I know about chess anyway? What is the woodshed? The woodshed? You know what that... What happens in the woodshed? That's just a saying. I don't actually know what that means. So I take... Now, 95 is a move, but I think 98 is a safe move here, as I recall. Because now I can go F6 and just keep rolling. Oh, thank you so much to Inner Scorecard for the 2 and 29 Rogi for the tier 1. Thank you so much. It goes to H4 now. The funny thing is I can actually take. Let's take. I'm kind of curious what's happening here. With C5, he can obviously take, but then he has a very, very, very bad pawn structure. Strange position. I don't really know what's going on here. Thank you so much, Twitch guy, for the 15 months. Thank you so much, Twitch guy. It goes A4. Um, the question is, do I play E5 here or not? E5 is obviously a pretty interesting move. I think it's actually a good move, so I'm going to play it. So he takes, I take with the queen, and I think the pawns are very weak. I could be wrong in my assumption, but I think... He does take. So do I take with the queen or not? Queen e6, queen d5, knight e7. If I take bishop f4, doesn't look right. So I'll take to cut off bishop f4. Queen d3, logical. Just knight e7 to guard against the e5 threat. I can castle or play rook d8. Castles, I suspect, is the is the right move. So I'm going to castle here. Because even if he goes a5, there's no real attack, I feel like, on the, um, on the, on the queen's side. Question is, how do I expand? So I'm going to go rook g8 idea to play g5 here. He still has no entry with queen d5. e5, I just take. Bishop e3. I think I'm going to play queen c6 here. Keep an eye on this diagonal. And then I'm looking to play g5 and really open up the king side here. Okay, let's go g5. Looks pretty scary. I mean... He's got bad double pawns. His A6 pawn could become a big weakness down the road. So I'm feeling pretty good about my position. I wouldn't say that I'm, I feel like I'm winning or anything necessarily, but okay, I can play H4. I can also just take the pawn, which makes some sense. All the thing is he gets 94. I don't, I, I, I actually am not worried. I guess queen H7. Oh, I didn't even see that actually. Whoops. Oh, wait, I did not see that. Okay, I guess I'll go here. Hmm. Kind of misplayed this a little bit. Do I have knight of four somewhere? Maybe I do. I'm trying to rotate my pieces. I don't like what I've done here. I think I'm still better, but it's very tricky to play. Queen g4. Um, if I go rook h7, rook h8, knight e4. And take on e3 and play rook d7, maybe. Knight f1, rook h8. If I trade, play rook d7, knight f1. Knight f1, rook h8. I think this works. So here, double stack the rooks. I think I'm doing very well here. It goes there and now I go here. So I line up the check. Oh, he has an E4, which I didn't even see. That was very stupid by me. Um... More than a little stupid, actually. This will go. Got to be something. Rook h7, rook d5. Back. And I'm really. Wait, I'm super low on time. What the heck? Wait, I'm super low on time. This is very bad. What am I doing? I don't know if this is okay or not. This is very scary. Um, 
guess I gotta try to create a pass pawn here. I think I'm drawing this if I'm, if I'm precise here. Yeah, not a good game, but it's a draw. I think it's just so good for the seven. I should have won that game. That was so much better out of the opening. It's what it is. I think it's just a duck is demand. Think X Chocobo for the prime. Think it's X Chocobo. Think it in a bot for the tier one. Thank you so much. Yeah, what a save. I mean, that was a terrible game by me. But it is what it is. It is what it is, as they say. I don't even know knight d2 is a good move, but I'm going to play it. Um, I guess I'll go c4 here. He can play pawn takes pawn. I should have been winning in that game. I'm just trying to think what I did wrong exactly. Maybe g5 was wrong. Maybe it was a little bit too bold. I guess I'll just play b3. Maybe knight f3 later. Plays h6, so he's really asking me to play it. So I'm going to play f5 and bishop d2, I guess. I'm going to really... I'm going to expect something to happen on the queen side here. So he plays rook b8. So again, I don't know if he's actually planning on playing b5, but... Hmm. Let's look at knight c1. Sooner or later, he's going to... Okay, so he does it. So I take... Play a4, fix the rook. And I'm going to go knight h4 next move. He's going to have to move the rook. Let's go knight h4. Let's go here. Problem for black here is that... Okay, it goes there, which I think is a big mistake, actually. It lets me trade the bishops, which of course I will. It's almost like a little bit like a French opening here. Let's play rook b1. Eventually, I probably have to try to expand on the king side. Oh, I just blundered that, but I'm kind of okay here, I guess. No, I'm not okay, because I... What am I doing? I guess I still have rook b2 or something, but... I should have played knight f3 right away. Why didn't I do that right away? Here, a4, I just take. I think it's worth a hmm, Bobby, for this. There's probably some force one for white, I agree. There's a4. I have knight b1. Knight b1 takes. I'm up on clock here, so this is where I should be very careful. But I think. I don't know, takes looks right. It looked right, but it's wrong, of course. Let's go here, I guess. Hopefully, I'm not blundering something very obvious. We have knight b3 or bishop b4, rook b4. Knight d3 doesn't look right. Rook b2 doesn't look right. Rook f2, maybe knight c3. Trying to come with a move here. Knight b3. Uh, what are the options? Rook a1's move. Bishop b4. B4. Rook a1, rook b2. 
King h3, Queen c2. I gotta move a little bit quicker. Go here to guard everything. I think I'm kind of okay here. Wow, he finds that, which is very annoying. Um, don't have any moves, I guess. Go here. I'm gonna go here and try to checkmate him. I have to make some moves quickly though. Let's go here. Okay, now my queen gets active and now he's misplayed it, but it's, he's still kind of okay. here okay I just have to cheese him no, he's got no time yeah, there we go. We got the win. Let's keep going. Not a good game. Thank you so much, Alimento Cerebral, for the gift of sub. Like I said, I think I was winning the previous game, the first one, so I'm going to play the same opening. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not a big believer in what he did. Okay, we'll play the same thing. E4, H5. I thought it was better in that game. I, I don't know where the win was, but I thought it was better. Let's see what he does. Yeah, Arena Kings, I ended up winning Arena Kings somehow. Don't don't ask me how I won, but I did end up winning, which is just absurd, honestly. He does Bishop E3 again. So he offers me the same option, and you know what? I'm just kind of curious. I'm really just curious. Uh, do I play F6 first, or do I play C5 first? Also a big question. I think I go C5 first. Although, he had E5 there, which he doesn't take advantage of. Um, do I play F6? Do I play Knight H6? F6 makes some sense. H4 also makes a lot of sense. I think I'm going to go H4 here. Plays G4. Also play F6. Knight H3, I expected that. Again, I have E6 or E5 here. I'm going to play Knight F7, though. It was a4. Play knight h6 to hit the pawn. Knight f2. And now I think I'm going to go g5 here. It was f5. Um, gives me a jumbo square on e5. Now the key here is how do I win this? I have, I have amazing ponies. I think I should play b6 first. Okay, I should castle, of course. Um, I'm going to put the queen on c8. Maybe queen a6. I want to prevent knight d3. This is the main thing that I want to stop here. So I can eat the, po eat the pawn on c4. Okay, that doesn't really concern me that much. I guess I'll just move my king up. Eventually, I... Oh, no, I can't play e6. What am I smoking? Let's just go here, I guess, and play rook b8 and a6 later. I mean, he only has one square. It goes a5, which... I don't know. I, don't, I just don't believe in that move. Because now he opens up a lane, and I with this pony on e5 and this horrible pony on f2, I, I mean, 
If this isn't winning, I don't know what is, honestly. Actually, Rook B5, I have a beautiful attack with Knight C4. Thank you so much to Vizini for the five and Otev for the prime. Thank you so much to Otev. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, goes Rook A1. Questions, do I play Rook B2, Rook B3? So many attractive options. I'm going to go for Rook B2 because he can't really contest the second file. And now I think I just slowly start to... I also have Rook B8 here. I guess I'll play Rook B8. Still can't take because he loses the pawn. Let's go here. This has to be winning. If this isn't winning, I don't know what is. Well, first of all, there's a pawn on C3. I can also just trade though and go Rook B1. And again, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is. I mean, I get another pawn. I can bring my other pony into the game. Just a complete domination here. Goes bishop e3. Now let's go a4, a3 now. And again, this is just 95, 95, rook b2. I think it's just a nice, clean way to win. Yeah, I'll go check and take with a pawn, and that's all she wrote. Great things coming up in the SCC. Hopefully, we get to watch Sinister Magnus versus Sinister Hikaru. What? What are you talking about? Okay, um, let's just play, let's play F4. Okay, uh, let's go B3, keep it simple. So dirty, I mean, that's just good shots, you guys. What can I say? It goes B6, now Knight E5 is obviously a move. I don't know if it's a great move, but I'm gonna play it anyway, I know. I guess I'll go Knight C3 takes and D4. Oh, what, wait, wait a second. That's a blunder, but is it a big blunder or a small blunder? Bishop C6, I guess I just take the two B shops. If the two B shops, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Go here? No, no, I can just, no, 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 this is just, what do I... I can also just take a couple of pawns in the center, or I can take a7. Knight a7, rook a7. I, I mean, if, if this isn't winning, I don't I don't, I don't, don't know what is winning, honestly, in chess. So I will just take it. I'll probably resign. No, I guess not. Okay, let's keep going. So let's take another pawn in the center. Open up the file for my pieces. Could have gone queen f3, too. That was also quite good. Knight d5, I kind of expect that. I just assumed somehow after queen f3... There's some pressure. Although, it's weird, because there is pressure, but it's not conclusive. Actually, maybe c4 wasn't right. And it's 97, and somehow I don't actually have anything all that amazing. Let's go here. Thank you so much to Detective Tease for the Tier 1. This should be good enough, though. And now, I mean... I can just take... Why is my ELO so low? Because I lost a ton of points in Arena Kings earlier today. That's why. Um, let's go A4, A5. Just simple chess. Just simple, simple, simple. Here's Queen A6. I mean, everything wins here, but I'm just going to slow it down with Rook A2. Just no nonsense. Um, how do I do this? I've actually made this weirdly complicated. Let's go here. I've made this very weirdly complicated. I'm not happy about that. Um, what am I doing? I guess let's go here, target the bishop. I think I'm just going to sack materials here. Yeah, I'm definitely sacking. I mean, if I if this... Once again, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is, what is winning in chess. It was rook before... Queen e4 looks safe here. Just don't want to throw this game because this, this is definitely winning for me. Thanks for the Dado for the two and Chaga Tahi for the prime. Thanks so much. I have one, two. What do I have? I have. I mean, that's just a free pawn, unless I'm stupid. I've got seven pawns here. Three, four, five, six, seven pawns versus 
I could play ace. A6, queen d2, queen up two. Yeah, this looks good enough because takes I just block. Unfortunately, my queen guards my rook. Otherwise, this would have worked, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, we got the win. Uh, we went 3-1. I'm going to take a short break. I'll use the restroom very quickly. And we'll be right back. Let's play g6 here. I'll play d6 this time. Thank you so much to Phony for the 13 months. Thank you so much to Phony. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's play e5. Keep it simple. Thanks for the great content. Thank you so much to Phony for the resub. Appreciate it. Yeah, now I can play knight g4 here. I did this in title Tuesday against somebody. I forget who it was against. It's not particularly attractive, but it's something. Okay, play h5. I had this against El Magneto as well. Also known as Magnus Carlsen. Um, and I think the Meltwater event in like... It was even the tour final in 2021. Sweet, worth the rating. Yeah, I mean, of course I cost myself a ton of rating points earlier, but it's all good. Now this, I believe, I don't even remember. I think C6 is right to cut this off. I can play A5 here. Um, I'm gonna go here and like rook E8, Knight of Fate, or maybe it's rook D8. I, I don't even remember. Let's just go here though, to start with. We'll go here and Knight of Fate. I have to be careful not to blunder something bigly. It was 92. I'll go here, maybe 96 and 94. Yeah, 96 and 94 is a very serious problem. If he takes, I have G5. I have knight D4 here, which is a move. Rook D4, E D4, 98, Queen E8, Knight to D1, and then F5 looks powerful. Is it that powerful? I think it is. Let's do it. Okay, it goes queen d3, which I expected. I mean, I assume rook d8 has to be correct. Plays f3. Okay, so I'm going to play a5 to tickle the pawn structure a little bit. Now, I have b6 to tickle the pawn structure further. I also have knight f7. b6, bishop f2. Takes, takes, bishop a6, queen d2. Somehow knight f7 just looks classically good here. So I'll play it. Thanks so much to Chess for the raid with 1883. Thanks so much to Chess for the raid. Appreciate it. Thank you. To everybody who's watching El Fabiano play against Arjun. I uh, hope you enjoyed that stream. It was obviously, or not the stream, but that event. It was obviously very, very close match. Uh, Fabiano ends up eking it out. We're here just playing some Blitz because I lost a lot of rating points earlier. So just chilling, having a good time. Okay, now I saw this. I assumed I had some tactic here. Like maybe Bishop H3. No, that's nothing. So let's just develop simple chess no need to be fancy schmancy here the rate of 1883 sounds like a history class indeed indeed i think i'm actually just much better here he's in a lot of trouble yeah he finds queen one which i think might be the only move that doesn't lose though even this looks so suspicious maybe i go bishop b3 or something i'm gonna go bishop b3 Oh, uh, that just drops material. Yeah. Yeah, it should just be game. Plays knight d5, which... I mean, like, everything literally wins here. I just have to figure out which one I want to play. Um, I think I'll just play a4 to lock the uh, bishop in place on b3. Thanks so much to Bortnik Chess for the raid with 64 as well. Thanks so much to Bortnik Chess. Appreciate it. Thank you for the raid, man. Okay, I mean, I can obviously take. I can also just take. Um, I can also go Rook C2. Hmm. This is a little bit weird. I can also play Rook G2, maybe. This actually looks completely fine, too. I mean, I have a big center here. A lot of pawns. I mean, there's slight imbalance these three versus two, but um, I can take, I can also just play D4. I can also play F5. Actually, F5 looks kind of crushing. So he takes, I get E4, I scope him. Same thing on F5 and their, their forks. Yeah, it should just be GG. Thanks so much to Jack Tor for the six months. Thanks so much to Jack Tor. Okay, I just go here, target the Queen and the Rook, that'll be game. Let's 
So another win, four and a half, half, pretty good. All right, let's keep going with F4. I mean, I, I like my opening. Uh, let's keep developing. So I'll just take and play D4 if he trades. I don't think he will. But we'll see. He goes E6. Okay, 92 is move. D4 is also... I don't really like D4. Um, I don't want to do this. I guess I'll just play 92. Let's go here. Now I can obviously play D4 here. I can also just go D3. Because Knight G4 I just take. It goes Rook, Rook D8, logical. Queen D2 seems like a reasonable move. Just play Rook E1. 100 wins in a row, that's... I don't know what you call that, but that's not what I'm aiming for here. I'm just trying to play good chess. Um, now G4 is also a move here. I think I'm going to play G4. I'm just kind of curious what's going on. It's a very chaotic position here. Okay, plays B4, which I don't really like. Um, I feel like I'm starting to outplay him a little bit here in this late, late middle game, end game. Like Knight G3, I have F5, I have E4. Uh, but he plays F5, which is actually a very good move, and I completely... Overlooked it. Okay, I'm gonna go queen e2 here, I guess. Now e4 is a move. Um, it's a move. Is it the move I want to play, or do I want to go g5 and e4? Looks correct. I think there's a velvet canyon for the five. So, yeah, I go g5 and e4. I open up the center here. This looks very, very good for me. See what he does. If I take, I'm kind of shocked that he did that. I feel like this position is starting to fall apart. If takes, I just take with a bishop. Um, Don't really know what he's going to do here. His king is very bad. His knight is bad. It's all kind of collapsing. He's deep in the tankaroo here. Deep, deep, deep in the tankaroo. Now, EF5 is a move. Rook D1's a move. I mean, EF5 looks good, but I don't see the win. If I take and play Rook D1. Wait. If I play Rook D1. Wait a second. Rook D1. Wait, wait, wait. I think he blundered. I have Rook D1. I think I take. Yeah, he blundered because now he has a problem with queen e7. He can't he can't take with the epochs of check because he takes. I take, take, and check, and he loses. And if he takes with a pawn. He actually. It, maybe I'm crazy. I mean, just take and I go check and again. Maybe I don't understand chess, but this looks like game over. Yeah, he's just he's just made it here. If I was a GM, I would never pay play, pay Hikaru if he was uh, if he was thirty one hundred. Yeah. What happened to my rating? I lost a bunch of points in um, um, I lost a bunch of points in um in Arena Kings. Unfortunately, I played terribly. Somehow I won. Don't ask me how, but somehow I did win. This guy is always online. Yeah, he's always he's always playing Blitz. Very good player. Did I lose nine? I thought I lost seven games in Arena Kings, but in seven, nine, twenty. I mean, it's all kind of the same at the end of the day, you know. That's that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, I think a five is still a move. Goes knight a four. I think I can play knight d four here, but what do I know? No, actually, I can't. So I guess I'll go. Back to d5. No, but this was wrong too, of course. Um, hmm. What am I doing? I'm not actually thinking.
Wait, what am I doing here? Let's let's play bishop d6. Maybe I'll take and go knight e7, something like that. Again, way too slow though. I'm, I'm using all this time. And I'm not getting what I want at all. Only people from Ohio lose nine games in Arena Kings. I'm missing the joke, but kudos for whatever it's worth. Yeah, I, I gotta move quicker. I'm, I'm just so slow in this game. I don't know why. I'll give up the pawn. I don't care. Just take. Oh, wait. He took with the... Oh, I was not expecting... Wait, that caught me off guard. Um, That caught me completely off guard, but I think that's a... Mis wait, wait a second. I think I'll go here to hit the pawn. I'll probably take and I'll take back. There's F3, which also looks wrong. Wait, this this looks very wrong, but I I don't know what I'm doing. I just gotta move. I have H6, I also have D5. I just gotta move though. Let's go D5. B7. Wait. Hmm. Now I can take or not take. It's a question. Do I play h6 or do I take? 97 takes, takes. h6, h, takes, takes, h6, queen a5, hg5, queen c7, g4. Eh, I don't know which one's right. I'm low on time again. I'll go for this. This one should be easier to play at least. Okay, I fixed the pawns. This is a good step in the right direction. I'm down so much time here. That's the problem. I don't even care about that pawn on e5. You can just take it. Oh, uh, wait. That's a blunder. There we go. There we go. So I made the right decision when all is said and done. Let's just trade some queens. I assume this is winning. I'm honestly not sure, but I assume it must be. Because now I have bishop c4. He can't trade. Um, yeah, that's just going to be winning. And even though I'm down a minute on the clock, it's not going to matter. Yeah, he's getting mated here, I think. Oh, he's got king f4. I assume... How's there no win? Oh wait, no, I can't. What am I doing? What am I doing actually? What the heck am I doing? Oh, I had king g8, king h7, and I could have just zig ziggy zaggied him. So now I have queen f2. Uh, this should be winning. No stalemates either, so. Yeah, that's, that's game. Okay, we got the win, big win. Let's keep going with F4. It worked so well last time. Why not play it again? 
Okay, C5, let's play E3. I just castle here, all very standard. Back to 3300, I don't know about that, you guys. Um, that'll take time. And like I said, it's very difficult because when, once the rating gets to a certain point, like I feel like I can probably pretty consistently get to maybe 3250-ish. But, but beyond there, like it's just, you, you have to really farm. You have to farm like a boss. You really just have to farm like a boss. Things were just still O for the prime. Things were still O. Okay, plays knight c6. I expected that. Again, I can just trade, I guess, and go bishop e5. We'll play the same thing. There's queen b7. I'll just play h3. d4, I just trade, of course. d4, I still can trade. Things were just jumping jacks for 27 months. Plays a5. Let's go knight g3. Plays a4. I can play b4 maybe. It's an interesting move, so I'm gonna play it with rook b1. I don't actually know if it's good, but it looks interesting. Go here. I mean, it looks very interesting. So I take, and then I take with a queen. And I don't really understand what he's doing. I feel like I'm just better here. Wow. Oh, does he have some queen a7 that I missed? He does. Or does he? Or does he? I could have traded and gone rook c1 too. I'm starting to attack on the king side. It's getting a little bit scary for black. Things which are element of cerebral for the gifted sub to neon dactyl. Okay, I mean, this looks. I, I mean, okay, this looks very scary to me, but what do I know about chess anyway? I mean, rook f6, rook f1, the stacks. Whoops. My take. Rook C8. If Rook C1, he is 96. Wait a second. It feels like there should be something here. I'm going to go Rook F1. Queen A7. That hangs a piece. That all... Or wait, that... Yeah, that just hangs a piece. So I go King H2. Yeah. And now I should win again. Should be good. Should be another dub. Yeah, it's queen d3. The only question is how to collect the pawns. Queen b7 actually looks like a very nasty move. Because I keep an eye on every single pawn here. And I don't see what he's supposed to do. He'll probably just resign. Because I think queen b7 ends the game. Goes f5, I take. I mean... Again, I've, I don't know, somehow I've, wait, do I just have bishop d, bishop d5, rook d5, check, king f8, check, king e8, check, king d8, bishop d5, I mean, I can also just go rook g1, I guess. All right, this, this must be winning. Bishop d5 is probably winning, but I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste time here thinking about something that's like insane for no reason. I go here, target the rook. I have check. Pawn is loose. This is just GG. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Am I going to stream when I play in the SEC? No, you guys. I'm not going to be streaming when I play in the SEC. Okay, it goes rook c8. But now I just take, and I mean, the bishop is just incredible. The rook and queen are great. I also had queen e6, which is just winning, but now I go check and mate. But it's all good. All right, that's good stuff. Let's play g6. Let's go bishop h3. Offer the trade of the bishops again. Why does he keep versing if he loses? Because if he wins even one game, he's going to gain a lot of points. Although with the rating I'm at right now, it's not actually true. Like it's 13 for a loss versus four, 15 or I think it's normally 15 and one because my rating normally isn't deep in the gutter like it is right now. So let's see. Um, now again, I can take if I want, but I don't really like that. I'm gonna go 95, 94 maybe. Something to do here. Has Hawaii changed much since your last visit? Not really, no. Uh, I'm gonna go 94. 
I don't even know if it really does anything, but it just, it looks right on G4 somehow. Plays D4, I expect that. Thank you, Seabass, for the gifted sub. I'm gonna go Knight F6 here. And play E5, and then I go Knight H7. I'm just gonna castle. And Knight H7, attack the Bishop. No, Kawhi was still pretty much the same. I mean, mind you, last time I was in Kawhi was, was uh, you know, before COVID times. So things are a little bit different, but not much. A lot of the stores that I saw uh, when I was there last time are still there. So it doesn't look like it's had a huge, um, hu hugely negative impact, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, again, I can take and play. I'm really, I don't know why. I keep wanting, I keep getting fascinated by these beef eater concepts. But you know what? I should just play E5 and stop being a silly idiot takes I just take and go e5 things are rook d3 for the 29 month thank you so much for rook d3 appreciate it thank you would I ever change my profile picture of course I could but I mean there's no need to right now did I get copyrights for that messy Ronaldo thing no you guys um like I know what you guys think about chess but copyright is not a thing in chess there have been like court cases things of that nature copyright ain't a thing y'all um I really want to play as like a Michael Tal and go for some like F4 funky business. Do I try to play as like a Michael Tal? Knight of two, queen d queen two. I don't think it works. Play it like a Dania, yeah. Um, I don't I don't actually know which square my knight belongs on, so I'm gonna go to F6 and H7. It just feels intuitively more correct this gives me f4 actually i think i'm gonna go f4 here knight h7 thank you so much to jackie tebow for the two month resub um i did see this move but i thought i could do something i thought i could play like queen f7 take some bishop f6 is also a move i think i'm gonna take you can't take with a knight. Yeah, I'm gonna take and go bishop f6. Still very messy. I don't know what's going on here. Very tricky position to play for both sides. Um, really. Somehow I just believe in this. I, I don't know. I feel like rook f3's gotta be working here. If it's not, so be it. Oh, he can sack. But I don't think that changes much here. Okay, this should be good for me if I'm if I'm smart about how I approach this. Queen g7, king f2, rook f4, knight f4, queen d4 looks good. Um, there's no knight g5, h3 is no good. There's got to be something here. I'm thinking too long again for the millionth time. Maybe I just keep it simple with queen e7. Uh, that's a blunder because now I can just chop and check and take the knight. Insert a parry JG for the prime. Oh. oh. Take the knight. I mean, just takes knight g5. I mean, he has some funky queen a1, but I don't think it does. Actually, no, if he takes, I can also just throw in the tickle check first, trade the queens and the game. I mean, I assume knight g5 must be right. Takes, just take. Okay, I mean, h3 is good enough. Queen d2 is good enough. Rook e4 is good enough. Rook b8 looks pretty clean, actually. Uh, can we say 2022 has been your best year as you have won world title Fisher Random Fest? Um, I'm actually, I mean, I'm proud of that result. I'm happier with my candidates result objectively, um, how I played there. So it's, it's kind of in between. I didn't mean to... Why did I play e4? Um, let's play f4, something different. Queen b6, okay. Oh, knight a3, knight c2, I guess. This guy seems pretty well booked up. Could have taken with a knight too, I guess. What am I doing, actually? What am I doing? Okay, of course I have to go g4 to kick the knight out. I don't know. 
H3 looks right. We work two one and trade. I expected that. I think I'm gonna actually run with my king maybe to. I think I'm gonna run with my king to g3 here. It's a little bit unorthodox, but I think it makes some sense. Now I'm just gonna. Uh, I guess do I trade or go king g3? I don't. I don't know if it makes a difference. So I'm just gonna go king g3 and finish my development. Let's take. I should be very slightly better. I don't know if it's like much, but I think it's a little bit better. Is it a 1300 game? No. Oh, uh, this must have been asked for. How did I win Arena Kings? Uh, I won Arena Kings, so sometimes I'm just that good. Sometimes I even impress myself. Um, and I can play Rook H1 to trade, but I think Rook C1 must be correct. I should be better here. It's just a matter of being precise. In Knight D4, I just trade. Okay, so I go Rook C3. I'm trying to consolidate, play Rook C1. I have rook b3 as well. A lot, lot of good stuff here. I don't know if this is actually just winning, but I feel like I should be... Oh, he's got rook h6, which I... Ay, 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 I forgot. Oh, no. I forgot that was actually a move. Oh, shoot. Oh, great. That's kind of problematic. Um, Let's go here. I'm going to just trade the queens. I, I'm, I'm actually really worried about this idea here. Really worried about the stack. The thing is with the stack now, though, there's no actual threat because now I can sort of just sidestep it. With no queens on the board, I'm free to just activate my rooks on the other side of the board. F6, logical. Play G5. Oh, I can take and play G5, maybe. Wait, if I take and play... No, maybe I could... Hmm. Don't want to burn too much time. Maybe I just go here and hit the pawn. And let's go here. I think I'm taking with a D pawn, maybe. I also have Rook C3. Okay. I'll go Rook C3. Could have taken the pawn, maybe. Yeah, this is actually getting kind of scary for black. Okay, I take and now I go G5. And now I can't take, so I have Rook C6 and Knight E5. I think I might be winning. Okay, well, that's just GG's. There we go. Big win. There we go. Big win. Big, big win. There we go.